channel Creative Art. I'm Nilima and tell me what are you doing this summer? Because today friends, I'm going to make this Targaryen symbol. I have given this two dragons a golden background so that it shows the fire and I have given this one dragon a snowy icy look so that it shows the ice part because you know one dragon is undead or you can say it dead. So this is the t-shirt I'm going to make today for myself though. Though this is not my size but I hope you'll like this video. So friends, please do watch the whole video to make it yourself. And do subscribe my channel friends for more creative art painting videos. And do press the bell icon to get notifications for each video I post every week. So let's quickly check out the materials now. First of all, we are going to need a plain t-shirt and for coloring, we are going to use a Fabricryl acrylic colors. This can be used on fabric, leather, terracotta as well as wood. So this time we are going to use it on fabric and if you are going to do the detailing parts, we are also going to need Camel Fabrica Cone Liner. This is metallic 3D acrylic color. By using this, it becomes really very easy to do the designing part on the t-shirt and we are also going to need paint brushes so here I have triple zero double zero and one number of brush so let's start now friends so this time friends for this DIY I'm going to use a white cotton t-shirt and I already wore it once to see where I want to place my design so this is the place where I want my design to be so I'm going to place my carbon paper on it Take the exact place of my design in this way. Overlook it once again. Using tape, I'm going to secure the carbon paper, the tracing with the t-shirt. Okay. This time I have selected uh, the three head dragon design. And now using a pen, I'm going to start tracing the design on the t-shirt. You can use any pen, there is no preference. You have to simply go all over the design borders in this way and trace the whole design clearly on the t-shirt. So friends, in the same way, I'm going to complete the tracing part and after that I will show you how does it looks, okay? Okay, so now my tracing part is finally completed. So I'm going to remove the secured tapes. And the printout with it. And yes, the tracing has come so fine and exact here. You can clearly see how beautiful it has come. Now friends, on inside the t-shirt you have to place a book like this which should have a hard cover so that it would be easy for you to paint on t-shirt and your color won't pass on to the next side so now friends we are going to start the designing and coloring part and first of all we are going to use a 369 red camel fabrica cone acrylic liner and using this liner i'm going to start the lining part Okay, so now we are going to start the lining part using the cone liner and first of all you have to go all over through the design you have made very gently. As this is permanent color so you cannot make mistakes so you really have to be careful while doing the lining part. Okay friends, so now the outlining part is finally completed and this is how our design looks. The liner really makes the painting part very easy so I have done the lining part first. And now for coloring, I'm going to use a Fevicryl acrylic color which can be used on fabric, leather, terracotta and wood. And this time we are going to do it on fabric and we are using a crimson red color. So now using a tiny brush, I'm going to fill up color in all the parts in the design you are coloring the fabric here so make sure that every 
part is filled up and also use a little bit of water with the color so that the color absorbs in the fabric completely Okay, so finally the coloring part is completed. So I will let it get dry and then I will show you how does it looks. Okay. Okay, so now friends our coloring part is finally completed and I as I have kept it for a whole day so it has also got dried up. So now the part is for creating some highlights and for that I have mixed a little bit of black in the same red color we have used and I'm going to give it a 3D look shade. So this is how I'm going to do it. So this is a very small change we are going to do. We are going to use a little bit of dark red color and go in this edges like this. Then wipe your brush, take the red color and do a slight shading, okay? You do not need to go all the way up but you do need to keep this shade okay so this is, this is how you have to do the shading part okay so this is the easy part if you have already done the red color so this will be a really really very really easy thing for you so this is the way how you have to turn this plain red color into a 3d look uh, shading okay so i'm going to do the same all over these two dragons and i'll show you the third dragon how it's going to look i'm going to show you how i do the face part i just take the dark color in this way And spread it around a little bit and then use the right color to shade then I'm going to do this part first using my dark color out a little bit Wipe my brush, then use the red and start shading in the opposite way. Okay, so this is how you have to do the shading part. I have already shown you the tail. Now I'll show you how I'm going to do the wing. For that, first of all, I'm going to take the dark color, which is kind of brown. to get final lines now so it is done I'll let it get dry and also paint the tail okay now friends I have finally completed coloring the dragon and now I'm going to paint the background using two colors one is going to be golden on the background on this part and the next is going to be a uh, snow color okay so i'll tell you the next part which is going to be here with one dragon so what you have to do is you have to take the golden paint and just tap 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 and create a different blurry look you can also sprinkle in this way using your brush but i don't want it to get on the dragon so i'm using this technique
So now friends you can see that I have finally completed painting two third of the dragon as golden background. So now I'm going to place a round ply in this way on the t-shirt so that the dragons are covered up. Then take the golden paint on my brush like this. It's totally filled up and then sprinkle it in this way till the top of this part. This is the time to place few bigger dots. So take a paint, a lot of paint and put the dots in this way. You can remove the cardboard and you can really see how it looks. I'm just taking my brush and throwing the color in this way. I think this much is enough and the golden really looks good. I'll lift this part up. So the same thing we are going to do here but this time we are going to use a silver color that's a metallic silver. And now friends for the, ne for the rest of the path I am going to use 262 silver camel fabrica acrylic metallic color okay. Which we are going to do in all this part first start from the inside. Now coloring this one third using the silver color is completed so now again I will place this board in this way and then using silver color in my brush I am going to throw the drops again. You know, in the pearl color, pearl white color I have also mixed a little bit of pearl blue so the color looks like this because we want it to look like snow. So now it is finally completed so I will let it get dry and then finally show you how does it looks. okay. So friends now our t-shirt is completely dry and I totally got the look what I wanted. This side gives a very beautiful snow as well as icy look and I can also feel the texture. What you have to do is before wearing it you have to just place a butter paper on this design and then iron it and you can start using the t-shirt. The color won't come out because we have used fabric paint on fabric. Okay so this is the final look of our t-shirt and this is how it looks after wearing. So friends, please do give it a try. Make it yourself and tell me in the comments below how did you find this video friends. And if you did like this video, please do like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.